Hi, Leo. Hi, Aquarius. So, let's see what's going on with YouTube. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So, take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. If you guys would like to book a personal with me, ask me a question, or just check out my horoscope page, everything that you need is going to be down in the comment section listed below. This reading is going to be a separate reading for um, Leos and a separate reading for my Aquarius. However, I am going to see where you guys align for those of you who are dealing with each other. Okay? So I'm going to be starting off with Aquarius. Aquarius, you feel like someone is juggling you, or maybe you are juggling. Yeah, you're needing to make your decision on someone that you love a lot. I feel like this person makes you very happy, but maybe they might be a bit inconsistent, flighty. They may move too fast, and that may make you sad. Yeah, I feel a lot of sadness between both of you. This person is sad because I feel like they think you don't understand them. And um, there's a lot of uh, mind games and manipulation involved. Could be a cancer. But this person still wants to move forward with you. But I feel like you may feel like the situation is getting a bit stagnant. I feel like you guys are getting a bit too used to each other. And it may just be getting bored. Like this feels like people are just sweeping up dust from underneath the fucking um, couch because there's nothing else to do. Yeah, stability. You guys have already been going through this for a while now. But the both of you seem to be sad that there's some type of situation going on. And I feel like it's a lot of petty shit in between you two that makes this situation go crazy. Because there's a lot of love here. Okay, so let's see what this person has to say to you, Aquarius. Spirit, what does this person have to say to Aquarius? What does this person have to say to Aquarius? Oh, too many. Oh, oh, my cards is talking to me today. Eight of Cups. I'm about to leave. I'm tired of feeling like I'm not enough. I feel intuitively led to just move on from you. Even though you are my stability, I am in love with you and you do make me happy. I also feel like sometimes you don't know whether or not you want to be with me. We break up a lot and then we make up a lot. But I'm getting tired of that. Do you want to work things out with me? Or would you like to keep trying to be manipulating? I do want this with you though. Okay, so for those of you who are dealing with a new person and not wanting to go back to the past or just want to see what the future holds with a new situation, let's see. Spirit, please tell me what is going on with Aquarius and anything new. Okay, so I feel like um, somebody wants you to make a decision on whether or not you want something passionate to come in or you're going to have to make a decision. I feel like you're dragging your feet or you may be going, you may be dragging your feet in the near future with someone new because of some heartbreak maybe from the other person and you after you move forward you may be reluctant to open up to somebody again but i feel like you will you may move on very fast and then slow down once you get to this person and be like wait a minute what did i just do here i feel like you'll be holding back because you're not sure whether or not this past person is going to return or whether or not you should move on to this new person but with this justice card here you better make the right fucking decision that's good for you not for you in this past relationship, okay? All right, so let's see what the outcome is. What is the outcome for Aquarius? Outcome for Aquarius, please. What is the outcome for Aquarius? Outcome for Aquarius, please. So I see you still going back and forth with the idea whether or not you want to hold on with somebody because you do want stability. And I feel like this person does hold the key to your stability. However, you don't know if this person is going to give you that key to open the door. Okay? <laughs> so let's see. What is the advice? Spirit, please give me the advice for Aquarius. If in the future you notice that shit just is not panning out, it's not working out, and you have to keep withdrawing yourself, I don't care how much energy you want to invest in this person. If you need to move on to something new, take your time and move on to something new, okay? Okay, so...
for my Aquarius is that I'm dealing with my Leos. Let's see. Aquarius dealing with Leos here. Spirit, please tell me what's going on with Aquarius that are dealing with Leos. Aquarius that are dealing with Leos. I feel a sense of somebody feeling left out in the cold. I feel like on one hand, there's a lot of stability and a lot of love here. But on the other hand, it seems like somebody wants to walk away because they feel like it's just a sex-based connection. Seven of Cups. Either somebody has a lot of options and they're a player or somebody is confused about what the fuck is going on because somebody is a bit too flighty. Aquarius. I feel like Aquarius, you want somebody to just speak up to you and make you happy and do the things that they're supposed to do. But I feel like your person doesn't know how because they're not happy with themselves. Nine of Cups in reverse. They look to other people for wish fulfillment and happiness. Again, this person is inconsistent because they don't have any consistency with their own lives, okay? Okay, so you're going to have to decide how you want to deal with that one because that's, that's, that's heavy. All right, so Leos, let's see what is going on with my lucky Leos, all right? Spirit, please tell me what's going on with Leo. Spirit, please tell me what's going on with Leo. Leos, you have a choice to go back to somebody from your past. However, there is a lot of petty conflict shit going on there. There is a lot of sadness surrounding this. Could be a Libra that you are dealing with. But somebody is very immature but wants to commit to you. But this person also wants to be in control with every fucking thing. I feel like you just want somebody who is going to balance you out. Somebody who is going to show you the way and hold your hand there. Okay? But somebody here is making the situation stagnant and it's causing a lot of stress, Leo. Let's see what this person wants to say to my Leo gang. Spirit, please tell me what this person wants to say to Leo. What does this person wish to say to my Leo gang? Leo, this person wants to tell you that they do want a new start, but sometimes they juggle with the idea of if, if they should actually come forward and tell you that. You are very cold and detached towards them and they feel like you're starting to become a player or maybe you were always a player and maybe you just were manipulating them into feeling like you wanted to commit me because you wanted something to do at that moment this person feels like you're still dealing with a past person maybe even the children your parents children um they are in love with you okay but i feel like you've withdrawn your energy because you're looking at this person like they are nothing but a big ass headache a child an unruly child okay so let's see so leos who are dealing with new and not wanting to go back to the past let's see what is going on for my leos who are dealing with the new and not going back okay i said i'm not going back <laughs> all right leo's dealing with the new or wanting to deal with something new let's see what's coming in for you Okay, so I feel like after you end this situation, you may be a bit happier. You'll be getting communication from new people. Yeah, I feel like intuitively, you'll know that none of these people are the one either. Yeah, maybe it's just a time for you to heal. Because you, I still see you being in the energy of needing to heal from this past situation and completely let it go. Somebody is still going to be trying to work things out with you. And I feel like you may still be going back and forth with somebody from the past, needing to cut them off but not. And leaving other people, potential candidates, in the dust because you're not ready to start this new relationship with anybody new. Well, don't go around creating bad karma for yourself. Stay where you at until you're ready to move forward, I say. All right, so let's see. What is the outcome? What is the outcome for Leo? Leo, I see you getting an opportunity to go for something new. But you have to make a decision if you want to go there. Okay? Spirit, what is your advice? Ghost the person who is selfish. Whoever it is that's selfish, this could be a business person, but move forward to something new. It's time for you to go ahead and try it out. Yeah, I feel like you're not barely speaking to this person anyway, so don't hold yourself up and your life up for nobody. 
All right. Thank you guys. Have a good one.